Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the video. Today we're gonna to talk about the McFarlane Warhammer 40K Necron Warrior. Now, I'm gonna be 100% honest, my only experience with Warhammer is passing by the 8th Street shop called Games Workshop and seeing Warhammer in the display and loving the tiny miniatures and having appreciation for it, but not knowing what the hell it was. Uh, that is my literal and only experience before this with Warhammer at all. I saw the Bandai stuff a while ago, wanted to get in on it, and I missed it. Uh, so I said, you know what, I'll I'll try out the McFarlane stuff. I missed out on the Space Marine, but I saw the Necron Warrior, and I thought it looked really cool. So here I am trying it out. So uh, bear with me, as I know nothing about this guy, uh, so I will have names wrong. I don't know what they are. So again, bear with me. But uh, I do like the way that this came out. Now, normally I'm against the, the McFarlane stuff because there's a lot of issues with it. But it seems like all of that is kind of just not there in this figure. Almost like they had to pass some sort of like guideline that was overhead on them and do this. But this one actually came out really awesome. So uh, let's get to it. First things first, the look wise. Uh, I don't know if this is an accurate look or if there's supposed to be a specific faction. Because I know with the Warhammer stuff, there's different factions. So the Necron Warrior, I'm basing this is, I'm guessing this is a base level like ground infantry bad guy and they just chose gold um but yeah it's a flat muted plastic gold but otherwise it's like whatever i'm not it's not a big deal i will say this though the eyes being painted green are really nice because they photograph beautifully almost under any light that i've put it under and it looks utterly fantastic articulation wise this is where it gets really crazy because it's done something that i don't think that mcfarlane has done and other types of figures where they put a lot of effort into how this guy articulates. Now, we have our head articulation, which is on a small neck joint, which doesn't allow a lot of movement technically. But when combined with the other stuff that you have going on, it actually looks pretty well. So as you can see, it's rotating around with no problem. He can pick his head up, but he can't look down because that long skeletal-like chin is there. But in this arm section, you can obviously T-pose with no problem. But also, look at that. We have... Something like SH Figure Arts and Stuff Collectibles does, where it has a rotating floating joint, which looks very nice. We can go all the way around. With the exception of hitting that back armor, we can almost hit 360 degrees. So I'm going to say we can probably hit about 290, the exception of these 70 degrees here. You do have still have bicep swivel, which is fantastic. You have a joint that is a singular joint, but the arm is so elongated, you can still make up for a lot of other missing articulation. We have a really nice ball joint that actually rotates around and rotates through. So you can see there, getting a lot of movement. Then we have this crazy uh, midsection, which actually has a ball hinge to rotate around. So you could, you know, hit the hula. Hula, 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 ha, 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 hula. So you have that and it's also on a lower joint. So you can emulate ab crunch going forwards. You can rotate side to side. Again. 3-6 Mafia, side to side. I'm just twisted my body from side to side. So if you're in the club, post it up. Necron Warriors got your back. Then we have our leg articulation, which rotates all the way around and through. He can actually balance on this pretty well. As you can see, I left it there on the zone and it's holding with no problem. We also have a thigh swivel here. The thigh swivel on the left leg, because there's an asymmetrical design here, does not get as much attention. Oh, wait. So wait. The thigh swivel... Oh, so there's only thigh swivel on the left and not on the right. Didn't realize that before, so I'm noticing that now. Maybe because I didn't put too much effort into it. And we also have a singular rotation here. But as you can see here, you can actually rotate around in many different ways. And then we still have that singular joint on each side. As far as our ankle pivot goes, this is where it gets a little tricky for me. Because I'm not sure if it's... I know it's up and down with a toe pivot. But I am not sure about rotating side to side i'm not sure if it's a ball joint that kind of slides or if it just wanted to just give it a little bit of extra articulation so you have to bear with me as i try to figure that part out and if you hear right in the background meowing that's because he wants attention so don't mind him <laughs> but just posing this guy up has actually been a lot of fun as you can see here you can kind of hit run whip let's actually do this right you're going to be able to hit some running poses but you're not going to be able to look all the way up, not the way you want to, at least in the beginning. So you can hit running poses looking really good, looking like a crazy Terminator, honestly. And you can pretty much hold balance. It all depends on how you're going to go about it and rotate 
and give that body a lot of perspective. So here yeah, I'm going to do a running pose to see if it oh, actually holds on the first try. Got to rotate that head a little. But yeah, getting poses on this guy is not too difficult, which is pretty fun. As far as accessories go, you're only going to get well, technically three accessories. Because one of them is the stand that you get with almost all McFarlane figures. So let's stand this guy straight up. And then make him look funny. There we go. So as you can see, you'll get your Warhammer stand, which is whatever. Then you're going to get this. Uh, I guess this is a spider drone or some sort of drone or, or warrior that aids a Necron warrior. I don't know if it's supposed to attach to anything, anything like that. I found nothing that it was supposed to attach to. So I'm going to assume this is a drone. I won't lie. I tried to look up and figure out what was going on in Warhammer. It was quite confusing and a lot of overwhelming information. There's a lot of history there. Um that I was not ready for. So I didn't dive too deep. And then you'll get this cool plasma cannon with a bayonet or, yeah, it's probably its version of a bayonet here. So it has its uh, Gears of War vibe to it. And this plasma cannon looks pretty cool. It's painted pretty well. There is a handle on this side. I'm guessing that's for the bayonet part for stabbing. So I'm assuming because this is the trigger hand, it's going to be uh, a right-handed uh, robot or warrior, cyborg. And then we're going to hold our cannon here. And then boom. He can balance out pretty well. At first, he's going to lean over. So I suggest is you bend the knees a little bit. Give him a little bit of leeway. And boom. So now your Necron Warrior can stand while holding his cannon and shooting people. It looks pretty good doing it too. So this is a nice, simple figure. It's 20 bucks. And uh, I'm probably going to end up army building it because it's actually pretty nice to have. It really does look really nice with a lot of different figures. And uh, I like mix matching my universes. It's pretty fun. So this Warhammer stuff has been enlightening. Uh, real quick, let's get a nice size comparison with some other stuff. So we can really see what's going down with him as I move him back just a little bit. Um, I got a bunch of random things on my desk right now. So I don't know where to start. Oh, we can actually start with some other McFarlane stuff. Because I was actually looking at <laughs> and seeing what other weapons I could take to give him. <laughs> So here we are with some McFarlane uh, Bloodshot, which will not stand for the life of me. There we go. And you can see Bloodshot is actually a little bit bigger than this guy. And then we have a uh, Cyberpunk Keanu. So you can see that the Necron Warrior technically is in scale with the rest of these guys. It's not supposed to be crazy bigger than everything else. But I'm guessing when you compare it to anything else, he's going to be much bigger. Uh, oh, I also have this Jazzwares or Wicked Cool Toys. I don't know which one name they're going by. Master Chief. So if you look like he would go up against Chief, here you go. They actually look pretty well next to each other. That's actually really nice. Then I have the Astrobots Argus and Hellboy. Because Necron Warrior going up against Hellboy is not too impossible. And that's from 1000 Toys. They look pretty good. Um, Now we're going to mix it up, try some other stuff. Here we have the Mythic Legion's Templar Knight, which I have to finish his photos <laughs> so I can upload that video. Then we have a Storm Collectibles uh, Marcus Phoenix with a cog head that you get from the uh, <laughs> the Warden. So here we go. And it actually looks like it goes pretty well with Storm Collectibles as well. Actually it goes really well with Storm Collectibles. Now we're going to mix and match with some more stuff. We have the Mezco 112 Golden Skulls. So Skull Gang is here. So we have a Golden Skull and a Golden Bodied Skull. We have an SH Figure Arts uh, Zombie Gamer Gam XO level. And as you can see, this is where we're starting to get into the little guys. And these guys are actually much, much smaller than uh, this guy right here. Much, much smaller. But it actually looks good when you're like doing like armies against it and stuff like that. Then we have the Lightning Collection Decker, oh, sorry, uh, SPD Red Ranger. Almost called him Decker Red. <laughs> then we have G.I. Joe Storm Shadow. Right? And a Marvel Legends Hydro Bob. Oh, don't forget the Articulated Icons Ninjas. So as you can see, he's much bigger than other domestic stuff, so he's definitely in the 7 inch scale. But uh, yeah, this is really, really nice. I really like 
uh, how it came out. It's very simple. It's tooled really fantastic. And it aesthetically, it's pleasing to me. I mean, even with the gold being like that, like plastic gold, it's still pretty fun. One more thing I want to add before I go is that if you have storm collectibles or Mezco weapons, this guy can actually hold these guys. So I just want to show you guys real quick. So he can hold. And the person who showed me this was actually a uh, 10070 over on Instagram because he had got it first. And I was actually very curious about this guy. And he is the one who showed me that it works with both Mezco and, uh, and Storm Collectibles weapon. So shout out to him. If you aren't already, please go follow him. He posts a lot of cool stuff. And then same thing for the Storm Collectibles. It just slides right in there. Hand on trigger. Looks real cool. In the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you are having fun. Hope that you guys are actually being safe out there. And as always, please be good, do good, and please drink your water. Later.